It's a much warmer morning. Temperatures in the low 40s and rain starting to fall. Now we're going to see a wet day today. Uh, we'll get more on that in just a minute. Let's get a look at this wind gust potential. Uh, don't have any advisories as of this time. Uh, these aren't going to be consistent winds, but at uh, times later this afternoon, 35 mile an hour wind gusts, 40 mile per hour wind gusts tonight and into Saturday. Saturday, you could see 50 plus mile per hour winds possible. And then we're going to see those winds still 40 miles per hour into Saturday early evening. And then it will start to wind down. Uh, we are going to have a chance for some strong storms uh, for tomorrow, especially. And you see that we have at least uh, that marginal to slight chance for some severe weather as this moves through. Right now, pinpoint radar. Here's the warm front. That's why we're warmer this morning. Warm air is infecting into the valley. We'll be in the warm portion today, tonight, and early tomorrow before the, before the first of two cold fronts will come through. All right, as we get through the day today, as we get deeper into the afternoon, expecting it to actually dry out right around 4 or 5 o'clock. That'll be short-lived. The area low pressure and the first front comes through overnight tonight. That's when winds can get in excess of 40 miles per hour. Tomorrow, we're going to see, uh, again, we're going to see some winds consistent uh, 30 to 35 miles per hour, gusting, though, through the day to 50 miles per hour. Notice how dry it is. Could even see some morning sunshine. That won't help us. That'll actually act to get the atmosphere a little bit more conducive for some stronger storms to come in as we get the second front. You can see that hyphenated line. That's a trough that's going to act as a cold front. Uh, expecting to have some showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon. And again, the winds are still going to be howling. We will see a colder night as we go into Sunday and could even have a little bit of some wet snow. Could see a dusting in the grass. And then we're going to have a nice day on Sunday and the winds will back down. Uh, so looking at our wind gust potential, 30, 35 mile an hour gusts at times into the afternoon. Overnight tonight and Saturday, that's going to be the worst of it. Some 40 mile an hour winds late tonight into the overnight. 45 miles per hour and could see some 50 mile an hour winds. Uh, you see we're going to have a little bit of break in the wind tomorrow in the morning when we see that sunshine. But then in the afternoon, as we get to that second round of thunderstorm potential, you see the winds peak up and then start to taper off as we get into Saturday night and into Sunday. Rainfall outlook, a quarter to a half inch possible today. Could see an additional quarter to a half inch overnight tonight. Uh, as we get into Sunday, it is going to be better weather. Tomorrow, we start off 60. That'll be around mid-morning, 9, 10 o'clock, falling through the day into the 40s. And again, those high winds will be with us. Won't be consistent 40, 50-mile-an-hour winds, but we'll get them at times. So it could be some power outages. Nice day on Sunday. We're going to see a warming trend. Monday, we get mid-60s, a dry day, a few showers Monday night. Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, chance for an isolated shower. On Friday, it looks to be late in the day. We're going to see the warmest day, also the best chance for rain. On Wednesday, temps in the low 70s with showers. Be safe out there.